Welcome to December and week 13 of Sidelines with Shan. I'm Shan and it's starting to get cold outside. But here we are in the final weeks of football. Um, so, oh yeah, I have these cool gloves. If the Colts were winning, I would wave them, but anyway, we'll save it. They're just keeping me warm for right now. Anyway, okay, so the best record um, in the league right now belongs to Lady Antibelichick. Congrats! She has won seven games in a row, and that is a new league record. Also, did you know that Velvet Zebra and the Dub Sops are the only teams who are undefeated in their own divisions? Both of them are 5-0 in their respective divisions, with the Dub Sops claiming the number one spot in the West. Meanwhile, in the East Division, Lady Anta Belichick holds um, a one-game lead over Velvet Zebra. So, you know, these next few weeks um, could be pretty interesting. So, some things to keep in mind. Um, there are only two, this is the easiest way, two weeks left um, in this season. And we have three teams um, in each division that are um, two games or less out of first place. Yes, I just like using these little pom-poms. It's all right. Um, now, of those teams, two of them play each other in the last week. Uh, so, these next couple of weeks can really um, change the outcome of the tournament. So, I'm pretty excited to see what happens. And, uh, yeah, I we'll look forward to it. So, for those of you who have played with us in past years, uh, the trade lit deadline um, has usually been right after Thanksgiving, um, but this year the trade deadline is actually not until December 22nd at noon. Okay, that is noon Eastern time. For those of you who are in other time zones, it's Eastern time, the only right time. But anyway, 12 noon on December 22nd is the trade deadline. So that gives you a little bit of extra time if you need it, if you wanna make those trades, because I'm sure there's some good trades to be had out there. Um, you can do that for the last couple of weeks of the season and the very first week of the tournament. Now, we are going to come to my favorite segment in which I tell you, oh, I'm sorry, it is missing 18. We all know that. Shouldn't have to tell you that anymore. But in case we got some new listeners, my favorite segment is missing 18, where I tell you why I miss the one, the only Peyton Manning. So for week 13, my 13th reason as to why I miss him um, I really miss watching him throw a touchdown and then they cut to a commercial and there he is. He's selling pizzas. He's making pizzas. Um, then, you know, I mean, he does really good commercials. My thing is like, how does he get from that football uniform into that? Well, he's still usually wearing a football uniform, but he doesn't have that red line on his head or anything like that. But anyway, so he really makes good commercials. Um, but it's just really cool, or I'm sorry, it was really cool to watch him make a super amazing play, cut to a commercial, see him selling pizzas or whatever it would be, and then you cut back to the game and the commentators are still talking about that super amazing play. I mean, we still get to watch his commercials now, but we don't get to cut back and also watch him in football, so that's what I miss most about him. Now, speaking of the cold weather in December, um, I know several of you are probably interested in the beach and, you know, you would like to be there. So uh, I've got something to just share with you. Now, we all know that to be in the NFL, you've got to train hard. Um, but did you know that Sidelines with Shan actually offers a training camp? Nope, I bet you didn't. Because um, this is really the first year we've had it. Um, but here's the deal. You get to train on the beach. Uh, it's not some, you know, just barren land, but it's the beach next to the waters and you get to hear the ocean. And um, really what happens in this training camp is orders are shouted out by yours truly. Linebacker. Um, and then you simply act out the positions that were shouted. Wide receiver. It's easy, you build muscle and. Running back. Talent along the meantime. Quarterback. Punt returner. Touchdown! 
Um, anyway, sorry, we're actually booked for the rest of the season, but we are taking orders for next year, so if you are interested in that, and you think you've got what it takes, um, then just simply email us at the address below. Now, we're going to try something. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I will give you my projections for week 13. All right, there we have it. Not quite as easy as usual, but projections for week 13. Langford Sun, Team S's, the Dub Sops, Belva Zebra, Brittany, and Lady Anta Belichick. So, teams, you know what to do. We've got uh, two weeks left after this, and uh, then it's, you know, on to the tournament. So, uh, that's all that I have for you for week 13. Uh, if you are in a place that's starting to get cold, like most of us are, uh, you know, then stay warm over the next few weeks. Take care of your team. Uh, if you need some people, you know, keep in mind the tournament is coming up, so now's the time to get some people, make some trades. Um, but yeah, so just again, take care of your team, stay warm, and we will see you next week with week 14. Bye!